Since 1994, UK Coal's property arm, Harworth Estates, has presided over the largest brownfield reclamation project South Yorkshire has ever seen. An epic undertaking to transform a former colliery and coking works site into Waverley, a £100 million, 300 hectare, 21st century sustainable community, featuring 4,000 homes, countless associated facilities and a world-class commercial hub. Dubbed the Community of Opportunity, Waverley will be developed in phases up until 2030 and will boast green credentials such as energy efficient passive homes, comprehensive waste and recycling strategies, accessible public transportation options, extensive paths and walkways and enhanced wildlife habitats. Uh, it, it's a huge site, it's the biggest, it's one of the biggest redevelopment sites in Yorkshire, one of the biggest redevelopment sites in the country and it's, a, it's actually a site in terms of providing housing and uh, employment, it's actually a site of national significance. I suppose the vision and the aspiration is that uh, is built around that key word sustainability. This is going to be a carbon neutral site. It's going to be a site where we're going to recycle uh, domestic water, where um, waste will be recycled, where we'll be generating our own power for the houses, where the houses will be designed to be uh, green, to be carbon neutral, to be energy efficient. Uh, it's going to be a place of open spaces, there are going to be parks all over the uh, area. In every aspect we're looking, we're hoping for almost a self-contained community, but also one with very, very strong links to existing communities. You know, th this isn't an isolated spot, this is uh, a well-designed, open, green, sustainable uh, environment but with links, very strong links to the existing, uh, the existing communities all around. We're hoping that the, uh, by the end of the project here, there will have been created something like 7,000 jobs. Now if you look at uh, the height of when this was an industrial site, there were not 7,000 people working here. So what we're hoping to do is to actually create more jobs here now than there ever were in the past. And obviously that, that won't happen overnight, um, that's a long-term goal. Uh, if we're creating 7,000 jobs, uh, not all of those jobs will be taken up by people living on this new development. So there will be certainly a, a sort of knock-on effect of um, employment that will be able to be taken advantage of by the local existing communities. Waverley's been um, a site, a heavily industrialised site for about the last hundred years. Uh, it started off with a relatively small colliery and after that there was a very large coking works built um, and eventually the mine was closed and the question is what can we do with this huge piece of land. Um, not only is it um, heavily contaminated, there's large areas of, of, um, of, of colliery spoil. And UK Coal found this site was in a strategic area in Sheffield and decided that the best solution was to try and come up with a redevelopment plan for it. The added complication is there was still quite a lot of coal left underneath the site and UK Coal decided that the best way of actually funding the remediation was to excavate all the coal out of there which meant digging a hole something like 100 metres deep but part of that meant that they could dig up all the contamination and put it in a specially contained cell. Um, so the open cast really funded the remediation and restoration of the site. Um, but it leaves us with a bit of a headache because there's 100 metres of filled ground that we've got to try and be able to build 4,000 houses on top of. The difficulty with this thing is you've got to have absolute certainty that they're spending millions on bringing this site forward to development and they've got to be sure once they've got there that actually they'll be able to sell the site because they can actually demonstrate that it's stable enough to build on. Um, so there's no question of being, well, maybe it'll be all right. We've got to be able to demonstrate, yes, it will be. So the way we've approached it is really by, by testing the ground to the way it will actually be loaded in the future. We're putting big banks on it to actually model what will happen when the development goes on. Um, and we're measuring settlement over the whole site. Um, and obviously with quite a lot of complicated analysis, the idea is we'll be able to demonstrate with a lot of confidence just exactly how the new development will perform. Um, and we've obviously got to satisfy ourselves, but we've got to be able to provide confidence that the regulators will be satisfied as well. Um, they've got to get building regulations approval, and people need to have the confidence that this really is going to be all right. 
Um, and so we've not only been um, setting up a programme of testing and monitoring, but we've also been involved in the, regulation, the regulators um, in developing that, that, that programme.